how are you guys? Anyway, I'm on my way to Georgia I'm by myself. Um, today is one of those days I just really don't want to be fucked with by nobody. I just, I'm like so over so much shit. Like, I don't know. Like, I just want to just go off by myself and just, I don't know, leave everybody behind. tell nobody where the fuck I'm going. But I did tell Trinity, tell her daddy I was going to Georgia. So, I'm just going to just go to Georgia and just shop. I don't care how much it costs or whatever. I'm just going to shop. And I'm going to eat. Buy me something to eat. Let me sit in my car and eat. I know what else I'm going to do. I mean, it has nothing to do with my, know it, like me physically, as in like my appearance or anything. It's just like I like I feel like I just be fighting a fucking emotional battle, and it's like I'm not fucking winning. Tired of it. And then bullshit going around me, and that just fucks with me. So I got that shit to deal with. Then I got my own shit I'm dealing with. Just, just it's just too fucking much. I mean, really just want to just get the fuck up, pack my shit, and run away and never fucking come back ever. That's how I really fucking feel. Let nobody know where the fuck I'm at. I just go and don't even look back. Then that'd be unfair to the children. That's what people would say. That's unfair to the children. But nobody knows what the fuck that person really fucking go through. You don't know why the fuck they did that. Just like people say, oh, people always take the coward way out. They commit suicide. That's the coward. They ain't the fucking coward way out. You can't say that's the fucking coward because you don't know what the fuck that person is dealing with. People always can say, you can talk to me about this. You talking to you about that, it's not going to change shit because at the end of the day, when you hang up that damn phone or when you walk away from that person, that shit's still with you. That shit is just still there. And the only way they see the shit will end if they fuck it out themselves. It's over. They ain't got to deal with the shit no more. But then again, they ain't have to deal with the afterlife shit. Fact of committing suicide. So 
sometimes ain't easily worth it. Is it? I just really honestly feel nobody understands. And I'm not going to fucking talk to no fucking doctor about anything. Because they don't fucking understand. They pretend to fucking understand. And try to do this and say this and give you mess. That's not fixing the problem. That's not fixing shit. That's just having you cope with it. I don't want to cope with anything. I want to get up and just look around and think about Avis and feel that Avis is truly, genuinely happy. Like, happy. I don't know when the day ever is going to come. I'm letting out. I'm just talking. 